In the last video, we looked at how to interpret Punnett squares and then calculate the probability of either being a tongue roller or a non-tongue roller. In this video, we're going to complete a genetic cross diagram and again calculate the probability of being a tongue roller or a non-tongue roller. So let's complete this genetic cross diagram. You can see here we have the information from the parents. The dad has a dominant T for rolling and a recessive T for non-rolling. The mum also has a dominant T for rolling and a recessive T for non-rolling. How would we put this information to show the potential combinations that the offspring could have? Start by drawing the dad's potential genes. So we have T, T, and then lowercase T, lowercase T. All you need to do now is match up the mum's genes to the dad's genes. So, over here, you would have two dominant T's, and then you would have one dominant T and one recessive T. Here, you would have one recessive T and one dominant T, and here, two recessive T's. How would that look on a Punnett square just before we calculate the probability. Here we have a dominant T and a recessive T, and here a dominant T and a recessive T. When we complete the Punnett square, we see we have exactly the same information. So, from both the genetic cross diagram and the Punnett square, let's look at the possible combinations. You can see we have one dominant T, dominant T. We have two dominant T recessive T's. And finally, we have one double recessive lowercase T's. Remember, it's a total of four, so that would be one out of four, two out of four, and again, one out of four. We can reduce this fraction down to its lowest number. Two goes into four twice, so that is a one in two chance. So the probability of being a tongue roller with two dominant genes is one in four. The probability of being a tongue roller with one dominant gene, and again, one recessive gene, is 1 and 2. And finally, the probability of being a recessive non-roller with two recessive genes is 1 in 4. That's how you complete a genetic cross diagram and a Punnett square. And this is how you calculate the probability of the different combinations of genes. 